What news, we were all taken by surprise, the Arsenal gunners and the players did not expect this decision from the media especially so soon, you have to know this before we continue if you are new to the channel subscribe and leave your like, that way you will receive daily the most exclusive news from Arsenal Football Club, thank you. They look more ready, national media casts Arsenal as title contenders after Brighton victory. Buke Osaka's penalty, Kai Havertz, and Leandro Trossard's goals wreaked havoc as Mikel Arteta's team kept their Premier League title chase alive with a 3-0 triumph over Brighton. Arsenal maintained their pursuit of the Premier League title with a comfortable 3-0 win against Brighton. Buke Osaka's penalty, Kai Havertz, and Leandro Trossard found the net for Arsenal at the Amex Stadium. It was a result that helped them keep pace with Manchester City and Liverpool at the top of England's standings, amidst what appears to be an exhilarating showdown. City defeated Crystal Palace on Saturday afternoon, and Liverpool is set to square off against Manchester United on Sunday afternoon. Even if the Reds win, there will only be three points between the top three teams. Here, we'll see how publications like The Guardian, BBC Sport, and The Telegraph reported Arsenal's victory over Brighton. David Heitner of The Guardian wrote, It wasn't just the win, though it was clearly the biggest event for Mikel Arteta and Arsenal, that returned them to the top of the Premier League table. It was the way it happened how they absorbed everything Brighton threw at them before pulling away during a second-half masterclass of strength and control. Arsenal's success in the title race will certainly be determined away from home, and this was the first of four tests, the others will be against Wolves, Tottenham, and Manchester United. Brighton was unbeaten in their previous 14 matches in all competitions at the Amex Stadium, they were on a club-record 12-game home unbeaten streak in the top flight. And for much of the first half, they showed why. They were skillful with the ball and sharp in their movements. They were asking questions. Arsenal had the answers. Jamie Braidwood of The Independent wrote, Something zero for Arsenal, it has something to do. But if Arsenal's late cheers away at Brighton were a throwback to the 90s, Mikel Arteta has now built a defence to match the days of Dixon, Bold, Adams, and Winterburn. When the Gunners returned to the top of the Premier League table, they did so by keeping five consecutive clean sheets away from home for the first time since 1997. You can see why when Gabriel Magalhaes threw himself to block Joao Pedro's shot. Stoppage time. Arsenal was leading 3-0 and riding high, but Gabriel celebrated as if he had won the game for the Gunners. It's this defensive intensity that fuels Arsenal's title challenge. Harry Poole of BBC Sport wrote, Arsenal fans don't need reminding that it was at this same stage last season that the club's hopeful grip on the Premier League trophy started to slip away. An eight-point lead, which they held until April 7, vanished completely. With seven games to go this time, there's no sign of Mikel Arteta's team giving up as they chase redemption in a thrilling three-way title race. With the painful experience of last year and another 12 months of progress behind them, as evidenced by the points earned against champions Manchester City last week, the Gunners seem to be getting stronger as they seek the club's first title since 2004. They have now won 10 of the last 11 games, securing 31 points from 33 possible in 2024, with an aggregate score of 38-4. Sam Dean of The Telegraph wrote, Buke Osaka has been in this position before. Over a penalty, in a tough away game for Arsenal, as the Premier League title race nears its conclusion. In the 31st league game of last season, Saka missed from the spot against West Ham. In the 31st league game this season, however, he scored against Brighton. The lessons, clearly, have been learned. Saka's goal was further proof that Arsenal in 2024 is a different team from last year, more ruthless, more solid, more clinical. In fact, they seem more ready to win the Premier League. No other team has been as lethal in front of goal in recent months, and no other team is as adept at defending their own area. Minutes after this latest dominant victory, Mikel Arteta was asked about the differences between this season and last year's collapse. How determined and resolute Arsenal has become. Their eyes are fixed on the finish line. What prompted Mikel Arteta's change in Kai Havertz's plan amid Arsenal transfer alternative? The Gunners' boss admitted that the nature of his £65 million summer signing made him reconsider when Kai Havertz joined Arsenal, there were plenty of questions, chief among them, where would he actually play? The German never secured a fixed position in three seasons at Chelsea. Stamford Bridge's revolving doors used him as a 9, 10, 8, and even occasionally as a winger. Mikel Arteta, however, made it clear how he wanted to use him. Club sources revealed that when Havertz arrived for a controversial £65 million fee last summer, the plan was to deploy him in midfield. The idea was for the 24-year-old to evolve into the number 8 position that Granit Zaka occupied in the previous season to transform Arsenal into a more aggressive attacking force. 
Initially, this was kept. Havertz was deployed once as a forward in the Community Shield victory against Manchester City, but afterward, he became almost exclusively a central midfielder. This yielded mixed results, with the German taking a while to adapt to the demands of the new role before things finally seemed to click around December. It appeared that we had finally seen Arteta's master plan. Rarely, however, is football that straightforward. They say necessity is the mother of invention and, to start, that was certainly the case here. An injury to Gabriel Jesus combined with a loss of form from Edin Kedia and the need to bring Jorginho's calming presence to midfield forced Arteta to push Havertz further up the field. He hasn't looked back since the German started as a forward in seven consecutive matches. It's not as if you could describe the role he's been asked to play as a false nine. The German is winning headers, delivering crosses, and running behind defenders. He's doing exactly the kind of things you would expect Harry Kane to do when Bayern Munich visits the Emirates on Tuesday, and there's no doubt about the position the English international plays. It's a role where Havertz has thrived, scoring four goals in seven matches. The latest of these came in Saturday night's victory over Brighton, taking the former Chelsea player to his highest goal tally in a single Premier League season, with seven games remaining. With things going so well, Arteta admitted that he had to abandon the initial plans he had for the German. Often players decide where to play, he told reporters at the Amex Stadium. You can have certain ideas, but then you see certain relationships, and it flows. When it flows, you have to let it go. That's what's happening with Kai at the moment, and he feels very comfortable there. The team is very comfortable with him there, and the rest has happened naturally. Despite a run that saw them shoot from 6th to 1st place in the Premier League points table, Arsenal still needs to add a forward to their ranks this summer, with names like Victor Gyokeris and Nico Williams heavily linked. However, with Havertz's unplanned success as a forward, perhaps Arteta will be forced to rethink. If you are a Gunners leave a like, this will help you stay informed with news from Arsenal Football Club, thank you.